Hey guys, today I want to tell you about this really awesome free resource called With Poly, and it is amazing. So basically what it does in a nutshell is it can generate complete PBR texture sets just from an AI prompt. It can also generate alpha atlases and it's a very powerful tool. So just go to withpoly.com and click try now. You do not even need to create an account to get started. So these are a bunch of things that have been made already, but you can just start with a blank. And now you can describe your texture. So let's do a red brick wall. And so, so, I want a red brick wall, but I want it to also be old and weathered. So rather than saying old weathered red brick wall, let's do red brick wall, old, comma, weathered. And that will make it actually work. I might also take brick wall and I might also make red. Uh, well, on earth. <laughs> um, I thought I'd copy that. Okay, so now... You can generate your patterns, and this should be pretty quick. You can do infinity, but you have to pay for that, and and it's a free tool, and you might as well take advantage of it. And now you can see, we right off the bat, we get a lot of really cool patterns, and it will make it completely tileable. So you can, and if you don't like what you get, you can just hit generate patterns again. And I mean, I actually like this one here, so just go down here and click on it. And you can change your upscale resolution. Um, 1K tends to work, but I mean, it depends on really what you want. You can do 2K. And this is called, this is like the AI zoom. So you can do like, I don't know, 100% or 150%. I tend to like to make my textures a bit bigger. So I'm going to slide it down to 50%. And then you can click enhance texture. And this will take a while. But through the magic of editing, I'll see you when this thing goes all the way through. Now you can see it's enhanced our texture and I mean it's actually very high resolution and it looks really good. So it's completely tileable and very a very good texture now. So now you can choose your type of material. So this is when you add the displacement and all. I'm going to do raw organic and then hit generate PBR maps. This might take a while, but again, through the magic of editing, I'll see you in a moment. Now you can see it's generated all of our PBR maps and we have a very nice looking brick texture now. So uh, and if you want, you can change the graphics quality. I am uh, pretty low for some reason. I mean, and if you have a terrible GPU, it's probably best to keep it low, but you can turn it up higher and yeah, it looks really cool. So you can change the tiling and you can see, I mean, you, you can see that it's been tiled, but it's, it's seamless. And I mean, I turn it down maybe a, a bit. You can change the lighting strength depending on what it looks like. You can change the displacement scale even to crazy kinds of resolution and that looks really good. So once you're done, you export it and download it as a zip and take a moment to export and then you can simply download it. So once you've downloaded your texture as a zip, you can just export it and you can import it into Blender by the secret to the little tips. Actually, it's one tip and then an extra tip for fun. And you can go search in the add-ons tab and search for node render. Um, make sure that it's checked and you don't even have to restart Blender. So now what you can do is you can go to the shading tab, make sure here, and then select your principal BSDF and press control shift T. Now you now um, these are all some of the textures. You can just press A, and I'll select everything and press Enter. And look, it sets up everything for you, so it's really easy. So now I just have a bevel modifier attached them, but you can just U cube projection, and you get a nice cube projection. And then here's secret tip number two. You can go to the render tab and you can do cycles, do GPU if you have one, um, the, G, um, the noise, and here's the fun part. You do experimental and then you add an adaptive subdivision modifier or a subdivision surface modifier um, yeah, here. And you make an adaptive subdivision and then you go to the material settings and you scroll down here and you set um, the settings to displacement and bump and then you see you actually get displacement which is really cool so 
something so you're gonna definitely gonna have to turn down the scale so it's some or turn it up depending on your texture and if you have a really crazy one you can see it actually really worked and i mean yeah it, it, it's actually really cool now so i I, ho I hope this was a helpful, t helpful tutorial i mean poly is completely free i mean it is a really cool tool and i'm glad i was able to share it with you and please and pl please enjoy this tutorial and have fun!